Yeah, it's another one of these kind of videos where I'm sitting at the computer rambling about something. I know I've been doing quite a few of these recently. I don't like it any more than you do. It's not really my preferred form of video making, but I want to get these things out quickly sometimes. And there's a storm coming my way, so I don't want to risk doing this during the storm and have the power go out on me. You don't need to know all the details. I'm clearly here for a reason, so what reason is it? Well, an article came to my attention on NikkeiStyle.com, which is in Japanese, but there was a particular portion that was translated. And admittedly, the person who originally posted this translation said outright that it's a little hackneyed, so take it with a grain of salt, as always. But I do want to address it because it does potentially concern the MonsterVerse. So, in particular, this is an interview with the Toho Company Limited Head of Film Business and Film Division, Manager of Film Business Department and Director, Keiji Ota. So what portion of the article concerns us? I'll just read you the portion that is translated. Again, by the poster's own admittance, possibly a little hackneyed. Quote, but Godzilla is an original character with Toho trademark right. Moreover, since Toho can make a movie with 100% own funds, it would be great if they did well. There is also the possibility of creating enormous profits in the character business overseas in the future. Godzilla is an important entity that holds the key to Toho's permanent prosperity. We own 100% of Godzilla's IP, intellectual property rights, at our company. Although the risk is high, we can handle it all by ourselves, so we do not consider diluting our 100% investment in Godzilla movies." That was Keiji Ota's exact quote. Again, if this is an accurate translation. So what does this mean? Well, it could potentially mean the end of the American Godzilla series. Not necessarily the end of the MonsterVerse, although that's a discussion for another day, but it could potentially mean the end of the American Godzilla series. Could be that it's just a trilogy. Godzilla 2014, Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019, and Godzilla vs. Kong 2020. My goodness, those are some very cumbersome titles when you attach the numbers to them. But anyway, why do people think that this could potentially be the evidence that proves no more Godzilla movies in America after 2020? Because... Ota is basically saying a lot about how Toho is a self-sustaining studio. It's one of the biggest studios in Japan, after all. And they've made these Godzilla movies on their own for decades. They can do it again. They don't necessarily need help from other American studios or studios anywhere else in the world. And they don't necessarily want to, as they put it, dilute any of their rights. Uh, for example, their contract with Legendary and Warner Brothers kind of doesn't give them as much of a slice of the pie when it comes to the merchandise selling. So, at least according to some sources I've heard. So, this could very well be Ota saying on behalf of Toho that they are going to keep the Godzilla franchise going from this point forward, thanks to America for getting it kick-started again, but we've got it from here. Or you could also read it as Ota saying on behalf of Toho, I'm taking my ball and I'm going home. It all depends on how you put the inflection into the words. So that is possible. I will admit, as someone who has kept saying that there is no actual hard evidence that the monster verse will definitely end after Godzilla vs. Kong, or that the monster verse will see the end of the Godzilla series or Godzilla's involvement in it, I will admit that is potentially what this quote is saying. However, as I look at this, I recognize, and again, acknowledging that this is a translation that may not be 100% accurate, I recognize a lot of studio speak. A lot of double talk that is deliberately vague and open-ended. Because the fact is, 
There's not a single thing in here that definitely says no more American Godzilla movies after 2020. Nothing that definitely says that anywhere. I mean, the rest of the article does say that Toho will be making its own Godzilla movies after 2020, but not necessarily that America won't be. And I think it's interesting that even here, we don't have anything definitively saying that. I mean, it's been how many years by now? Uh, it's soon going to be five years since the first American Godzilla, well, the first Monsterverse Godzilla. Five years since Godzilla 2014 was released. And we still haven't heard anyone definitely say with 100% no ambiguity that there won't be any more American Godzilla movies after that film or any more Monsterverse movies after that film. You'd think by now we would have heard that sort of thing. So the fact that we haven't heard that sort of thing combined with this very open-ended statement, or at least subtly open-ended depending on how you read it, has me thinking that perhaps, and again this is speculation on my part, but perhaps what we're looking at here is a potential negotiation tactic. Now by that I mean it could be that Ota is saying he's basically dropping a hint perhaps because like I said the current deal means that Toho gets a portion of all the profits from the ticket sales and the merchandising and whatnot but they don't necessarily get as much as they would if they were producing the movie 100% by themselves. So where does the negotiation part come in, you may ask? Well, again, taking into account that I'm going off of a admittedly dubious translation, what we might be seeing here is Ota saying on behalf of Toho, Warner Brothers and Legendary, you need us more than we need you. And that is something he certainly would want those studios to think. Have you ever seen how actors respond when they're asked if they'll return as such and such a character for such and such a major film franchise? Oftentimes they will say that it's up to the studio, right? They'll, they'll answer the phone if the studio calls, but really it's up to them. And then, especially in the internet age, you get all the fans coming in and saying, yes studio! Rehire this actor for this role. We will turn out in droves to see this movie if you keep this actor for as long as possible in that role. That's what we love. Well, there's your negotiation tactic. Basically, when it comes time to negotiate that contract for a potential return, the actor or the actor's agent will go in and say, Hey, studio execs. See all of these people demanding the actor return for this role? See all the people saying that they want me to play this part for as long as possible? All these people are dollar signs to you, right? Uh, you gotta make it worth my while. I want a pay increase to keep doing this role. But if you increase my pay and keep me around, you've already got a built-in audience. These are all the people who will pay to see me return, so you'll make back that amount and then some. But if you don't want me, you can say goodbye to all that money that the audience would have given you. You see how it works? They've now got the public on their side. So that increases their chances of the studio potentially saying, all right, what's one more zero added to the price? So, it could be that's what's going on here. Ota is making it clear that Toho doesn't necessarily need to be partnered with Warner Brothers and Legendary, but the inference, if you read between the lines, could be him saying, if you want to keep us around, you gotta give us a bigger slice of the pie. What that bigger slice could be, maybe in regards to merchandising, where the real money from the movie is made, as Mel Brooks put it, who knows. But I think there is that possibility. Again, it's just me speculating, but there is that possibility. 
I think part of the reason why we still haven't heard anything definitive yet is because everybody, Warner Brothers, Legendary, and Toho, they're all waiting to see how King of the Monsters does, and how Godzilla vs. Kong does. If those two movies do especially well, and again, assuming that the contract really does expire after that, I really do think Legendary and Warner Brothers would be crazy not to at least try extending the license. And who knows, if this tactic really is the case, maybe there can be an agreement. They might know what Toho wants, and if the movies do well, maybe they'll give it to them. Or maybe they'll work something out that benefits everyone equally. I don't know. You may recall that we didn't officially know Godzilla 2 was happening until after Godzilla 2014 was released in theaters. It was still opening weekend when that announcement was made, but we still didn't know officially that Godzilla 2 was happening until Godzilla 1 was first released. So, I have a feeling something like that is probably going to happen again. We will get an announcement of some sort if I had to guess, either after Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019 is released, or if not then, after Godzilla vs. Kong is released. It'll be either one of those, I'm sure. We'll learn that either the three studios have been in negotiations and worked out some sort of deal to keep the American Godzilla movies going, or they were trying to negotiate something and negotiations fell through, or they were never negotiating in the first place and it really was always meant to be just those three movies. We'll find out. And if, I say, if it does turn out that Godzilla will not be in any more American movies after those three films, hmm, actually, let's save that for a different video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, as well as subscribe to the channel for more content of a similar nature. Also, check the description for links to our Twitter, DeviantArt, and Patreon pages, as well as the Amazon link for the novel Operation Red Dragon The Daikaiju Wars Part 1, penned by yours truly. Thank you all, and we appreciate your support.